Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be talking about a card that is just really, really solid. By solid, I mean that this card necessarily isn't game-changing, but it has a, a lot of unique properties that, that make it a trending card in the meta. Even with Cosmos on the fall and Pepe on the rise, Samurai Cavalry of the Reptier is, is just a really, really good card for eliminating threats that aren't Pendulum Monsters. For the people that don't know, Samurai Cavalry of Reptier is a level 4 Earth Monster with the scale of 3 of 3. It is a Dinosaur Pendulum and Effect as 1800 attack and 1200 defense. Its effect reads, at the start of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's face-up monster that is not a pendulum monster, you can destroy that monster. Now, since we've been getting sneak peek preview cards, I believe the last good one we've had was... It's been a very long time. But it's been very different with Samurai Cavalry of the Reptier. This card is just great at what it does. Um, and its effect is very simple. If it battles a non-pendulum monster, Bam! It's destroyed at the start of the damage step, and no calculation. It doesn't matter if Samurai Cavalier of Reptier is weaker or is stronger. Now, keep in mind, you do have to uh, watch yourself for monsters that can't be destroyed by card effects, because after Samurai Cavalier of Reptier's effect activates, if it doesn't destroy the monster, you continue on with damage, and you just hope that your Samurai Cavalry is stronger than the opposing monster. Um, a lot of players would like to say, oh, this card isn't that great anymore because of the decline of Cosmos and the rise of Pepe, but the problem with that is, is that there's still a lot of great extra deck threats that are being played for example in ignister uh prominence is still uh, a main card that pepe goes into and his 2850 body isn't uh you know something that's easy to get over and if the longer you allow it to sit on the field the better its effect becomes samurai cavalry provides an instant out for that card uh, mainly because it just destroys the monster by its an effect and you can keep on going from there very easy to summon i'm um, kind of easy to search with if you search it off of wavering guys and it, it's not that bad of a card that almost any deck can play it um you don't necessarily have to be a pendulum based deck to play this card but ironically um, it is a scale three and archfina centric is a scale seven so if you guys did want to play those two cards in combination with wavering guys in your side deck that's not a horrible idea to get over the opponent's cards and then if you're ever in a pinch you can pendulum summon yourself samurai cavalry of the reptier it has a lot of great properties like i've said um, 1800 attack being that great thing now granted it's weaker than draco slayer um one of the best uh, level four monsters in the game right now um but it, it's just stronger than so many other cards in the game if it doesn't even get its effect off uh, mainly another card that's been summoned a lot or being used a lot is abyss dweller and sometimes it does have that 500 attack boost so you can expect it to have that 500 attack boost once mermails drop um samurai cavalier the reptier is an instant out to abyss dweller granted they'll be able to activate its effect but you will finally be over that abyss dweller that will probably be putting a lot of pressure on you throughout the game i really think that this card is a very good card and right now if we check on tcg player you can get the ultra rares for about three bucks you can get the rares for about 20 cents and you guys already know the cali effect the love swag cards so he probably just pick up the ultra rares it's just a really good card um i think the most important thing is that uh konomi did give it to you guys as a sneak preview card so a lot of people don't really put a lot of value into them hence the reason why it's only a three dollar card um seeing that it's so good if this was just a normal ultra rare this card can go anywhere from between 20 and 30 bucks just because the effect is that good so don't deny its price um don't doubt of, that it's easy accessible um it's still a really really good card um and it's nothing short um of, of a great card ironically i've actually seen uh, a dino rabbit deck uh, being used because of him uh with the introduction of more dinosaurs that we had and this card is just a solid dinosaur monster um and then they use the rescue rabbit you know the, the normal other dinosaur tricks um it's this one card it's a spell card uh, it, it has a uh, wire die grapher on it. I forget its name pictures right there um, They use that and it really it really cobbles well with the dino rabbit strategy But overall samurai cavalry of a rip tear is a very good standalone gets over anything anything That's not a pendulum monster to its effect And it's just one of those amazing cards that I think you guys should pick up or if you already have just keep it on Hold on to it because it is a great card. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Cali effect over and out Hey guys, if you want the cheapest cards online, I advise you to go into the link in the description and click on it. That's going to take you to the Cali Effects Binder update. You're going to be able to get access to the cheapest cards online from your favorite Yugi Tuber. Consequently, if you guys want to see more videos, you can click on the left or right video. The left video is going to take you to Mikhail Martinez's Mask Hero deck profile, and the right is consequently him playing against that's right star wars or better known as cosmo thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy